Yo, everybody, Sierra Conver here for you with yet another weekly benchmark video. Got to play with music. So, um, yeah, just here, kind of here. Just. Oh, just kind of here again. Kind of here. Same as per usual. Uh, well, not quite per usual. I did pass the test like I said, but apparently one o'clock. And I didn't go for the two-step method where I record the video yesterday and then I finalize it today. So I'm going to have to do the video today. And then I'm going to have to finalize it as well on the same day and then I got to draw and then I got to go to an appointment my dermatologist and then I got to go to work I've only had uh, about three hours of sleep but you know better than the alternative what I alternatively planned but I really kind of Ooh. I really kind of planned um I kind of planned, um, I kind of planned, like, I kind of planned to just not sleep and just kind of grip my teeth and bear it, but I've gotten into such a methodology of a kind of, like, kind of feeling where I have to sleep. It's called a sleep schedule. It's something that, you know, I didn't have for most of my fucking life. I just slept whenever I felt like it. But man, I gotta tell you, a sleep schedule is boring. It is so boring, man. It is... You always have to sleep at a certain time. You always wake up at a certain time. And if you don't, you get major backlash because you're too used to regular sleeping and good, and good moral ethics and otherwise. When it comes to sleeping, I mean, I have more of a control, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be playing a bit of King Koi. Um, playing a bit of Koi. Uh, on the side, because I have a lot to do today, but, anyway. What I'm trying to say is, uh, it's kind of ridiculous how good a night's sleep could be if you're used to it, how bad it could be if you're not used to it. Like, I never really understood the full ethics of having just a completely well-based sleep pattern, and now that I'm used to it, I only had three hours of sleep, and this feels like death. Feels like really tiring to me. Even though, back in the day, I used to sleep, like, sporadic. Sometimes I wouldn't sleep at all. And I could just... Oh, kind of get through the day by not really caring about my sleep and just kind of passing out here and there in the middle of my classes. You could tell I was a very good student in school. I, I was not very awful, actually. Um, because nothing really interested me. But that's beside the point. Kind of how it's always been. Not a lot of things interest me, which is why I don't play a lot of games. Which is why when, uh, which is not why. Aside from the games, when they announced Pikmin 4 today, one of the few games that I actually really like, I was like, yo, I'm out, I'm in, I'm, I'm completely in. I'm hoping they make it a flagship for the next generation of Nintendo, but saying how it's a 2023 release, I don't know about that, maybe they'll push it back another year. I, I'm down for waiting, I mean like, if it's a flagship game, all the better for me. I was I was already planning to buy the next Nintendo product because I always liked the Nintendo Street series. I, I, I didn't 
per se grow up on the Xbox and PSP. On the PS, uh, yeah, the PSP, um, consoles. I kind of grew up on the GameCube. Which is why it's weird when, you know, I hear so many documentaries where so many people say, Oh, the GameCube wasn't the best console. Company actually kind of regrets the GameCube era when the GameCube era had like some of the best fucking games. There weren't many games to begin with, don't get me wrong, but they were there were some pretty good fucking games. On, I gotta say, a lot of people don't get that nowadays. They think, oh no, it's just GameCube. It's just the one console that introduced some of the best handheld controllers in the melee industry or whatever. whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm like, what are you talking about? It introduced some of the best handheld devices that people still use in fighting tournaments instead of an actual dedicated, like, you know, um... What is it? Fighting box? Where it's it looks like a box and it has many buttons on it. That's definitely not what it's called, but you get what I mean. And this is also not what I I clicked daily AA dismantlement even though I really don't wanna do that. Do I even have seven point seven? I don't. I really shouldn't, but I'm I'm not really in the case where I'm not that much about it. I'm just doing it at the moment. But yeah, um, I feel like the GameCube era was really good. There were some really good games, extremely good games, like the Pikmin series that I talked about earlier. And then, um, you know, Donkey Kong Country, an amazing game. And then. Uh, you know, like I said, there, there weren't a lot of games there, but there were some good games. Like a Chibi Robo, that was a good game. I really liked that one. It was a nice game. Not a lot of people talk about it. You can tell my tastes are kind of underground by what I'm saying here. Like, Donkey Kong Country was a really good I, ju I just think that not many people wanted to play it because you had to get the bongo drums and everything. But once you got the bongo drums, man, it was a good game. It was just a good game. A very fun game. Checking my uh, quest. When it comes down to it, I just feel that people don't give the GameCube enough credit. It was a very, it was a very high tech console with cutting edge graphics, and it was on par, if not near, like slightly better than consoles of its era. I wouldn't say better, but I would say pretty damn good. Did you see Pikmin 2 on release? Damn, that game looked amazing for its time. And it still does. It's aged like fine honey. Pretty damn well. And, you know, uh, Pikmin 3 was a flagship game for the Wii U, I think. It, it really showed off the graphics of the Wii U. So I'm thinking they should do it again. Or, I think it was called the Nintendo Switch 1. It just sounds like an Xbox kind of name. Like how they say the Xbox One or something. Or other, but it's like, it's fine. If they make Pikmin for the flagship game to show off the new spec IDs of the new game. Of the new console. That would be a pretty good choice in my opinion. In my opinion, that would be a pretty damn well good choice. Pretty fine drop, if you ask me, but 
That's just me. Why am I on three fucking two? What the fuck? I gotta tell you, I'm too used to doing three two. Just I'm just I automatically defaulted. I wasn't even really paying attention. You could even see that I forgot to do repairs on some of my subs from yesterday's three two. An actual nominal failure. Sorry, sorry girls. I'm supposed to be doing one one sparking. And as a result, I've now lost like a spark. Okay. So event is coming to a close. I, I have to do a lot of things. A lot. I have to do Kenkole event. I have to go back to my original site. I've been at this external site. Have I been talking about this? I, I was moved to another site for like the last month or so. And I've been at that site. And honestly, it's been an utter pain. Except for like the people there. The people there are pretty nice. I like them. They're nice people. But other than that, man, I don't know. This week's been pretty rough already. I've been having very little sleep. I haven't been paying much attention to things. I, I only have like... I went to sleep at 9. I woke up at 12. That's about 3 hours of sleep. That's about half the original that I get every day, which is 6 hours. I played a league game and then I won. I watched Tetris, man. I watched Tetris for two hours. I really like watching Tetris. I, I think I've watched Tetris on some of my um, poker games, poker streams, or like uh, my Kankole streams in the past. Definitely my Kankole stream. But yeah, I, I have watched po uh, Tetris gameplay in the past. I, I don't play Tetris at all, mind you, but it's very interesting. I just don't have the technological I could have the technological skill if I like trained on it but that's like for everything which is why you know I'm uh, learning how to draw and all that learning how to draw just for the sake of learning how to draw and to make stories when I grow up Talking like I haven't grown up already. I'm a grown man. Feels weird. You know what? I'll just uh, redo it. I'll pay it back forward. I'll just do three sets of one one. There's not much left to do after this. I gotta just do the PvPs and then we can move on to the next part of it. I should have turned on my light. A lot of lighting is. It's... Oh. Oh, oh well. What can you do? It is what it is. Tayo is always nice as per usual. Tayo is just a... Historically relevant quote. Oh, another one. Very well designed. As you can see, this sleep is getting to me. I really should have recorded this video yesterday. If I did, I could have just been sleep deprived. Just like, did a post... Post-production upload. Wouldn't be so tired and you wouldn't be listening. Boring comment. 
But it is what it is. If I was really my old self, I would just say, I don't really feel like it today. Put it off until like later. And then I'll never act. This is what much more preferred, the one where I actually do it even though it's not the highest quality, at least I'm doing it. Same with drawing. If you do it long enough, you'll eventually get it, at least. And once you do it enough, look at the 10,000 hour rule, you'll get really good at it. Or at least you'll have a neat that you can play. Okay, second part, the battle, and I'm done with the sparking segment. I'll pay you forward. I still owe you one battle here, Sato, so here we go. Final battle should not have been in um, 3-2 for some reason. Well, obviously, it's not going to be your final battle. Once I'm done with all the level 7 rotation, I'll just aim for like level 9 rotation. 11 rotation. Eventually, level 50 rotation. How many years will that take to get all my Ds to level 50 just from 1 1? For like damn long time. But that's the prospectus. Seems pretty likely, honestly, depending on how long I play game for, which will be probably until I die. I mean, I've already been at it seven years, so why would I ever stop, really? Unless I became like a big shot, like, anime, uh, manga artist producer. What are the chances of that? Oh. Oh. Excuse me. I'm so tired. Despite all that, um, I'm I'm really happy that Pikmin 4 was released. I retreated it on uh, Twitter. Follow me on Twitter if you don't. Um, but it was super pog moment. I was pogging out yesterday at work when I saw it. I always said Pikmin is a lot, was like my favorite game when I was a kid. It's one of my very formative uh, games and what I like in a game. <sighs> kind of like led me my current style of play like i like games with experience i like games with uh resource accumulation i like games with in in inherent goals and games with you know a varying degree of strife and also a bit of loss on the side. Which, you know, Ken Koli kind of actually sums up all of that. To a degree. Which is kind of why I like Ken Koli. It reminds me of... It doesn't remind me of Ken Koli, of a. Uh, it doesn't remind me of Pikmin, but... There's a lot of genre, like, intersecting kind of, like... Defining things that happen. Nice rest. I I grew up on Pikmin 2. I didn't like Pikmin 1 nearly as much as I liked Pikmin. I think I played Pikmin 1 first, obviously. No, maybe I played Pikmin 1 after. I'm not really quite sure. It's been a while, but... All I know is that I liked Pikmin 2 way more than I liked Pikmin 1 because Pikmin 1 had a time limit. You couldn't just stack as long as you want. You couldn't just farm at your own pace. You had to basically just go. 
And that reminds me of events, which is why Kenkole events kind of stress me out. It reminds me of Pikmin 1. But uh, the other part of Kenkole, you know, the just the leveling up your girls, re managing your resources, like managing your Pikmin numbers, making sure these resources go to that, like a red Pikmin go to fire, etc., etc. These are very, very vague allegories, but what, what I mean to say is, it's just the way I play, really. It's just the kind of feeling. You wouldn't really necessarily necessitate. Wouldn't really um, allegorize. That's not a word. You wouldn't really compare Kenkole and Pikmin in like any kind of strata because they're completely different games. For example, Pikmin is a RTS. And Kenkole is more of like a plan and let go kind of situation. But it does happen in real time. Like the battles do happen in real time. It's just that you don't really have much weight. Like in Pikmin, once you throw your Pikmin, you don't have much weight. I don't know what I'm getting at here. But, you know. However, um, what I mean to say is... I can feel some comparisons in why I like Kenkoi so much because it reminds me a bit of Pikmin. Most in particular, not like, you know... Not like, you know, the strategy involved or... Well, to a degree, the strategy involved. But more along the lines of resource allocation management and overseer. And being in an overseer kind of position. You're not really the one fighting. Somebody else is fighting for you and you fight alongside them. You know, you make it a difference. That's what I'm trying to say. That's always what I've liked about Kenkoi. You know, I could play a game where I fight people all day long. It doesn't really give me the same satisfaction. I could play... Valorant and I could kill the whole entire lobby And you know that that happened Like maybe once before I quit I was using like a minigun or something The Ares or something because I was a cheesing guy But that was because my my overall kind of like My overall aim was just god-awful That's beside the point. If I put in enough time, I would have gotten really good at it. Like how I'm really good at, like, I'm really good at League of Legends. I've been playing League of Legends for seven years, and you would think that after seven years, you would be good at the game. So, naturally speaking, I'm kind of good at the game. I, I kind of understand what I need to do in order to win. My win rate on my main character for this season is like 58% fled out of like... 250 games 58 percent out of 250 games is a staggering amount to say the least because the normal win rate for any champion is hovering 51 percent so if you have like a a win rate difference of like seven percent it's really good but that's beside the point i i actually am like hovering platinum and uh i would be higher than platinum maybe if i put more time in but I'm currently focusing on getting both Flex and Solo Duo to Platinum. Why Flex Q to Platinum? I don't know. I'm currently like, I don't know, uh, Gold 3 Flex. And I'm just kind of doing it. You know, I, I thought getting Platinum to uh, Diamond or whatever. Going up another division, which I've never been in because I've always been like top plat because I never had the time back when I was a kid I was so fucking stupid that I would just hover gold right but now that I actually have more of a mind I could get higher if I really try you say that but you've never been there so that's not really a, that's not really a sticking point haha <laughs> keck w true 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 you're right you're right 
don't know if you never tried, right? Um, really boosts that. Uh, maybe I should, but I just don't like playing King Cole. I don't like playing Sieg all day. I'm thinking about Kenkole there because I'm playing Kenkole right now. Who would have fucking guessed? Anyhow, I play Kenkole every day and I like it. It's a very methodical, it's a very kind of calming kind of routine to just get up and say, you know, I gotta do Kenkole. So I'll do Kenkole. I'll wake up, I'll do a development tree, I'll do uh, two daily b battles, I'll do my PvPs. I'll send out my expeditions, I'll go to work, I'll bring out my steam deck. By the way, did I notice, did I mention that I got a steam deck? I got a steam deck. So that I could play Kinkoi on work. That's how much I like Kinkoi. I literally bought... I literally bought a steam deck. Just... Just so that I could play Kinkoi. Uh, in my free time at work during my break for my lunch and then I will get to work at, uh, uh, I will get to work and during my lunch or my breaks or in between um, I would why did I go into night battle scam on down I don't know um, I would basically do a 3-2 my free time with all subs because the steam deck has a desktop mode which makes it like one of the best laptops that's not a laptop i've ever damn well seen if you want my seal of approval you freaking got it man dude the steam deck is so good for playing kenkoli i'm not even joking it it play, it works just like a desktop no installation required i thought i would have to download some mods or something and I was even looking up the tutorials to do it, but I, I I found out because somebody on Discord told me, oh, you could just go into desk mode, desktop mode, couldn't you? So I went into desktop mode and I was like, yo, this is just like a real fucking computer. It's just a portable computer. Who would have guessed Sasaka Valve, dude? I'll, I'll buy every Steam Deck whenever I run out. Whenever my Steam Deck uh, dies from now on, I'm a devoted fan. I've always liked the the Valve kind of offset. I've liked the Valve philosophy of good games, good equipment, overall good of production. You know, unlike some companies who I won't mention, where it's obvious they're kind of skimping the bill after getting notoriety and fame, Valve has remained to be consistently overall just a reliable company in all aspects except for maybe um i don't know community feedback and listening to the fans on some things they just kind of go their own way which is its own kind of charm you know if you go your own way and you believe in it that's all good but in terms of some games we're like they're just like we're dropping the ball here it doesn't get much better than this like they did with tf2 after not updating it for years Eh, no. Those kind of decisions have always felt kind of weird, but overall, as a company, I really like Steam. I really like Valve. They make good games. And they're really high effort, too. Like, have you seen their latest production? They they don't make a lot of new games, but when they, they actually set out to make a good game, like they made Half-Life Alex. It's always a banger. It's always a banger. TF2. Um, Half-Life series. The Portal series. They're all really good. They even made a spin-off. Just kind of demo reel. Kind of for like um, the Steam Deck. Uh, I think it was called Aperture Desk Job. I looked up a, a playthrough and I, I watched the entire playthrough. It's not very long, it's like 30 minutes. Spoiler. But it was a really good game. Really good game with the Valve sense of humor. Really ties into the aperture kind of like healing scenario. Overall, 
a great game that perfectly kind of blends into the overall plot. Not seamlessly, of course. There are a few kind of like... Is, this is spoilers. There are a few kind of like, um... How do you say? Weird meshing kind of things, like... Parts where it's kind of like, it's kind of like a retcon. But not quite a retcon, because that's how Valve... How good Valve is at making games. Just a proper retcon. A, a new introduction of something that we haven't heard before, but now we know. Like, for example, Cave Johnson. Being stuck in a big totem head. Not quite a totem head. It's just a large... Cranial kind of construct body. With a body that's like... Regular man's size that completely got fucking <laughs> that got completely buried under the massive cranium. Hilarious if you ask me. Anyhow, what I really gotta think about is how to get through the current day because what I'm doing in the current day is uh not the best. I don't even know why I'm still on PvP. I should really be moving the ball forward. It's been 31 minutes? What? I've been talking for 31 minutes? Dude, I swear I've been only talking for like 15. That's what happens when I'm tired. I don't really pay attention to the time. I, st I still have not even talked about my daily draws. It'll be a quick one today for sure. Anyhow, that's all the PvP's done. So, like I, I, like I was saying earlier, the classic kind of kind of uh, feeling, the classic kind of strategy is: I get up, I do my development branch, I do my two daily battles, I do my PvP's if I have the time. Otherwise, I'll just do the development branch. I'll go to work. I'll finish the two daily battles. I'll finish the PvP's. And then I will send out the expeditions. Uh, if I haven't already sent them out, I'll resend them at work. Because if I send them at the beginning of the day, it'll already be three hours. So that's the next send out. So I'll send out the next one. Um, and after that, you know, uh, after that, I'll do three, two and three, two takes a while because it's like, you know, put down your subs transfer the tanks onto them and then send them out again and then i'll do the next set of pvps which will happen about the time that i get to the midway part of my shift and i have some more free time and then after that ah there's not much else to do because that's like all the main ones i don't really want to do the transports and other but doing the day 10 daily battles, getting the five repairs out of the way by using subs on three, two, doing the 15 daily repairs, doing the 10 PvP exercises a day, doing the whole development quest. And because I'm doing, incrementally speaking, uh, expeditions the whole day over, including my work shift in my free time using the Steam Deck, I naturally get the 3x10 uh, daily expedition. Sorry, I think I have a cold. Because I slept only three hours. But yeah, that's basically how it's been going. Um, I really did not mean to talk this. Way. Really should not have happened, but yeah. That's about my regular routine with the Steam Deck. It's really nice really well as well you know what i'm saying back then i used to have to do all this before i even went to work now i have more free time my free time and you know what i do with that free time i kind of just i don't know i kind of just like i was watching watching that touch. look at my boy look at my boy 
Pikmin 4, man. It's been 10 years. People bashing on it because it was the Nintendo Direct was mostly just like farming simulators. Dude, I like farming simulators. I never really played them, but I, I think if I ever played them, I would really like them. But I like resource accumulation. But anyway, Pikmin 4, man. Pikmin 4, 2023. It's a palm day. Where were we? September 7th. So anyway, I was doing like indulgent well. This is a nice one. Nice one. Um, where's my borders? Sorry, my bad. Indulgent Woe was a pretty good one, pretty good result. I, I'm gonna go for something simple today. I don't have a lot of time because I have to go to that appointment, but Inherent Madness, it was good. I'm kind of rushing this, it's been 30 seconds. But uh, Lookalike Ambition, I, I kind of like the feel. Like, I got this hand completely wrong so many times. I drew it like maybe five times, but overall, the kind of stubs kind of look good enough. Saving Grace. The saving grace is that I, I wanted to draw a heel heel, but I didn't even know if those counted. Those these little stubs counted as hands. So I just looked at the wiki for a while and I was like looking at the guy and I was like, oh wait, doesn't he actually catch Kaiba's hand and bring it? So you know, it's just the little things that help me from day to day, help me get through the day, really. Full's aspiration for 9 9 2022. Truly the strongest day. I would have drawn uh, Cherno, but I already drawn Cherno before. I don't even know why I'm still on this pattern of just do original characters that you haven't done before. Even though I've already done 364 days. I said to myself, after I do 364 days, I'll remove the bar limit and I'll make it so that I could just, you know, draw whatever I want to draw. I could just draw like an entire month of just like Congo. But then I didn't. Because apparently, I don't know. Anyway, this is not. I've drawn like three kind of like triangle eyes kind of like drawings this week. I like two, but I might do another. No. Twilight Permission. I tried doing some side profiles. They're not really that great, but I, overall, I like them. I like the characters too. They're both from 100% Orange Juice. They're both like the hyper cards. So I felt like, you know, I did these over the weekend. I felt like I actually pushed myself to try to learn something, which I feel like I've been really falling behind on the ball on learning things, but yeah. I like them. Uh, Arthur's drawing. Pretty much a good improvement over Malt's drawing. Malt's drawing kind of feels like the composition all the way there. Uh, Arthur's drawing seems more, a bit more consistent now that I got the side profile down a bit. Of course, I'm not saying I got the side profile view knocked out of the ballpark. You can see there's a lot of blade in it. I liked it. Dangerous indulgence that day. I was just completely out of my mind man. I, I think I woke up at like 3 o'clock I was ready to draw by 3 30. I had to be there by like 5. I was losing my damn mind Same with justified chiding had a bad day of work um, after dangerous indulgence So made me feel like drawing justified chiding I think I'm going to draw maybe Britta today or something else. Something very simple because I, I don't have a lot of time. It's 1.55. Uh, I talked a bit way too long while doing my Kenkole dailies because I think, oh, 
As long as I'm doing my Kankole dailies, it won't take much longer than 30 minutes. And then 30 minutes actually last and I was like... It's been 30 minutes? Of course it's been 30 minutes. I averaged 30 minutes just for the incur... Just for the interim, like, main primary basics of, uh, resource accumulation. Doesn't really help that, you know... I did a few mistakes on the way and I'm kind of tired, so I, I was slower processing than usual. But yeah, I like it. Monsieur Brock. I remember him from the game. I'll probably move back to 100% OJ or maybe draw a few more uh, paper uh, Mario and Luigi characters. I don't know. Whichever characters I have hands, I gotta aim. What I've been doing. Even though some of these hands are very, very simplified. You gotta do what you gotta do to make them hands work. Anyway. That's all about all I gotta say. It's already well over the uh, required time limit. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time or something, I'll see you all later. Thanks so much for watching.